Chapter 8, Tachycardia. Welcome to the lesson on recognizing tachycardia. In this video, we'll discuss what tachycardia means, how to recognize it, and kinds of tachycardia. Tachycardia is defined as a heart rate greater than what is considered normal for a child's age. Like bradycardia, tachycardia can be life-threatening if it compromises the heart's ability to perfuse effectively. When the heart beats too quickly, there is a shortened relaxation phase, which causes two main problems. The ventricles are unable to fill completely, so cardiac output is lowered, and the coronary arteries receive less blood, so supply to the heart is decreased. Signs and symptoms of tachycardia include respiratory distress or failure, poor tissue perfusion, for example, low urine output, altered mental state, pulmonary edema or congestion, and weak, rapid pulse. There are several kinds of tachycardia, and they can be difficult to differentiate in children on ECG due to their elevated heart rate. The following is a list of the kinds of tachycardia and what happens during the specific tachycardic event. Sinus tachycardia, normal rhythm with fast rate, is likely non-dangerous and commonly occurs during stress or fever. Supraventricular tachycardia, rhythm starts above the ventricles. Atrial fibrillation, causes irregularly irregular heart rhythm. Atrial flutter, causes a sawtooth pattern on ECG. Ventricular tachycardia, rhythm starts in the ventricles. This concludes our lesson on recognizing tachycardia. Next, we'll review narrow QRS complex.